Even, even more excited. Uh, you know, a lot of these players are even more talented uh, than I thought they were. Um, I think, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's players that have really bright futures here. And, you know, when, when you're on the outside looking in, you don't know the personalities. You know, you don't know how receptive they're going to be when you come in, uh, how receptive they are to a different culture. And uh, everybody has been like sponges, um, you know. And, and you know, a, a couple of guys are young, but now have experience under their belt. So I think they all came in with a different mentality as well. It's, you know, it's not just me. You know, it's, it's a ton of players around here that came in uh, with different mentality. Tyson, the popular mantra is Tyson's going to come in here and be the veteran. He's going to he's going to be the veteran presence. But how, how does that I'm actually? Still young. <laughs> <laughs> you are. And how does that how does that balance out though with being the new guy? Because a lot of these guys have been here three, four times as long as long as you will have by the end of this season. Yeah. Um, you know, I I can only come in and be myself. Um, you know, I'm not going to try to be anything that I'm not. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I just want to win. And, um, you know, I got the same impression, you know, from the guys that have been here and around me. And, you know, I tell, uh, I tell Eric and, you know, and Brandon, you know, when they're out there and Ronnie, he's on, when he's on the floor, this is their team. You know, they, they have to, they have to control the team, control the tempo, um, you know, and, and, you know, they got to be able to communicate with their teammates. Uh, and they've done an excellent job of it. You know, Eric has, has been here, you know, before I before I came and you know when I got here competing every day, I mean he's been playing uh, until you know after pickup games to where he just had to lay out you know on the ground because he's exhausted himself and and that's a good sign you know and Brandon as well I see you know Jay Kidd told me before I came here that Brandon was a workhorse and that you know he'll spend hours and hours in the gym and you know you always see him in the weight room and, and putting time in and, and I think that uh, in itself is what you want to see you know coming in especially for me as a veteran is that the young guys here want to get better and they want to learn. Um. Without divulging anything personal, have, have you talked to Marquis? What, what do you think of him as a person and his attitude coming in? I, you know, I think he's a. Uh, I've always thought he was a great player. Um, you know, just going against him, and um, you know, I still feel that way. And I, I think he's a great young player and a great kid. I hate to say kid because I'm not that much older, but a great young player. Um, and I think all this stuff will be behind him. I, I, you know, this isn't the first time that a player has had uh, miscommunications with management or anything like that. And it's not going to be the last time it happens. And in our league, it seems to always work itself out. And I feel like this won't be any different. It will definitely work its way out. Uh, defensively, in your last two stops, you were asked to cover up a lot. Here, you're kind of surrounded by better defenders. How does that help you? It helps a lot. Um, you know, there's guys here uh, with athleticism and quickness um, that I haven't been around in a long time. You know, I've been around in different positions, but it's all over the board. Uh, and I haven't played, you know, alongside, uh, um, you know, another great, um, you know, center uh, since, or uh, another talented center since uh, Brennan Haywood. You know, that was the last time I played with an actual five, another five on the roster, um, you know, that was basically a starter. And um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to, I mean, these, we have very athletic wings and guards. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the speed of the game, you know, offensively and defensively that we'd be able to play with. Tyson, you were obviously, the West is loaded. And yeah. you, you played on championship teams and you played on playoff teams. How do you compare right now going in the talent you got and how do you see this team uh, blending and mixing together as the season goes? Well, the, the, the talent is definitely there. Um, you know, the, the key part is, like you say, blending in it and getting everybody on the same page. That's, that's the key component to success in this league and actually winning this league, whether it's been on the, you know, national teams, you know, Team USA that I played on, um, and the, the teams that have had success in this league. It's always been the same thing. Everybody has always been on the same page. And I think that's, you know, that's the start. You know, when we go off the training camp, it has to begin now and it has to go, you know, until the end of the season, everybody being on the same page, being one accord. Uh, and, and that will get the out outcome. Honestly, I can't say how far this team will go and, and all the good stuff because you, you never know. Um, but the talent is here. Now it's our jobs to, to do the rest. When you got here, you were excited about working with Alex Len, having pickup games with him. What are you seeing from him, and what are you talking to him about? I think he has a promising future. 
uh, you know, he has all the tools that you want to see in a big man uh, in this league. I don't think he knows how good he is, to be quite honest. Um, I think when he starts to understand that and starts to get that confidence, you'll see, um, you'll see him start to grow and explode. Uh, he's long, agile. I mean, he could shoot, you know, the hook with both hands. He has a nice touch, and, and he's a big body. I think, you know, he's he's a young player, so doesn't understand how big he is, and you know, and how much of a factor he can be on the court. Um, you know, and it's and it's my job to help him along. I, I was telling somebody coming in here, I I didn't get an opportunity to play with a big man. I played with big power forwards like Oakley and Antonio Davis and those guys, but I didn't get a chance to play alongside a big man. So I didn't I didn't. I had to learn things on my own. So I didn't figure things out until I was like in my fifth, sixth year. He'll have the opportunity to kind of take things from me and hopefully I will, you know, excel this process. Talk about your role in being able to help ignite the fast break with your outlet passes and your ability to rebound the ball. Yeah, I think with the guards that we have and how fast they are and wings that can handle the ball, um, you know, first priority is, of course, to secure the rebound. Uh, and the second is just to go. Um, you know, so I, I think that was that's going to be a huge factor uh, in our offensive play. Uh, Tyson, over the last couple of years, the Suns obviously kind of hovered right around that eight spot. Do you think it's possible in the NBA to build from the middle to a, le a legitimate NBA title contender? Yeah, I, I think, you know, we all saw it um, with the NBA champs. Um, you know, I, I don't know how many teams, I mean, how many people really, you know, uh, saw them winning it all uh, and, and I'm in no means trying to compare us to them you know at this stage but what I'm saying is you can have a young group of players uh, and if they're willing to learn and do the right thing uh, you can definitely have success in this league uh, and we got to start the building blocks you know it has to start somewhere and, and it's a great opportunity for it to start right now. Tyson how much of an emphasis are you guys placing on starting fast in the season? I know it's going to be hard, you know, blending together, but yeah. if you look at the past couple of seasons, the Suns have started relatively slow, and then they had to kind of play catch-up yeah. uh, in crunch time against pretty good teams. Yeah. What emphasis do you place on starting fast? Huge. Uh, we, we have to start. The, the biggest thing is, is going in and taking every game serious. Uh, I think in the past, you know, um, you know, this team has gotten up for uh, the big teams, the big names, the big players, uh, and then taking other teams lightly. And those are the games that come back to haunt you at the end of the year. So I think it's very important that we take every game serious and understand in our position, you got to go in trying to win every single night. Clearly, you're not going to do that. Uh, it'd be nice if we can. I saw the, the Colts that the Knicks may go 82-0, um, but, you know, that's never happened in our league, so I don't think that's going to happen. But you got to go in and try to win, you know, 82 games. Tyson, uh, you talked about it earlier. You're only 32, but, you know, you're the, one of the most experienced guys here. Is it weird being, you know, one of the most experienced guys now, even though you're still young? Yeah, especially after being around such old teams. I mean, I was in Dallas, and I had an opportunity to, uh, you know, crack jokes about Dirk and Jason Kidd and, and Brian Cardinal and, and all the rest of the old guys. And now I'm here, and all these young guys are looking at me and asking questions, and I'm like, who are you talking I mean, you know, but I, I guess I'm that guy now, so, you know, I got to uh, – Got to fill that role <laughs> and enjoy the process. Tyson, you've been with some pretty good coaches in your day. You were at Carlisle, obviously, in Dallas. How does Jeff Hornacek compare? Uh, well, I haven't played a game for him yet, but um, this summer has been great. Uh, he's so personable. He's made me you know, very comfortable coming into this system. Um, not only him, but the entire staff. I love the things that they're doing defensively, uh, and I love the approach that they're having with the young guys. Uh, there's a patience. I think you can, you can ruin young players when, um, when you overwhelm them. Uh, and I think they have the right idea and the right concept of how to bring these players along. And I think that they're all going to benefit from it. Uh, towards the la end of last season, you saw this team getting more and more comfortable with Brandon Wright's role in the offense, specifically like rolling to the basket. Mm -hmm. How comfortable is that to see a guy like that succeed towards the end of last season? And it's something that you'll be looking to do in the offense as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play with these uh, two explosive point guards. Um, you know, that, that's better for me. I think, I think we'll have an opportunity um, to create uh, 
you know, some great plays offensively, but not only that, create plays for others around us. Um, the biggest thing is the pace. Uh, I didn't know Brandon Knight could shoot the ball as well as he can. Uh, and he told me that, he reminded me that's all he did his first couple of years. Uh, but, I mean, he shoots the lights out. Um, and so I think that's going to put a lot of pressure on the defense, you know, him being able to step back behind screens as well as drive and penetrate. And, and then on the other hand, I mean, I think we all know how athletic Bledsoe is. I mean, he has to be one of the most athletic guards in this league. So I think that's going to put a lot of pressure on the defense. Thank you, guys.